Within the last couple of years, we've passed the point where, at global scale, more than 50% of the population lives in cities. So we've moved from being a predominantly rural uh, agricultural community at global level to predominantly an urban population. There are now also 35 cities internationally that have over 10 million people living in them. I won't go through all of them, but they include Tokyo, Shanghai, uh, Karachi, New York, Sao Paulo, Dakar, and London. London is the 27th out of those 35, actually. Uh, we call those megacities. They are vast groups of people, vast groups of people, whose needs for life need to be met. Now, the science fiction scenarios that uh, describe these megacities in the future include them as being places of harmony, of culture, of style, and ecological elegance. But they also include dystopian futures where people are fighting, where there is conflict over resources. There's fighting for food, for water, for space, for soil, and so on. So we've got contrasting futures, utopian or dystopian. And I want to explore the ec ecological implications of those two alternatives at a time when thousands and thousands of people are already in a dystopian future, slum dwellers, uh, illegal slum dwellers uh, are very common in every megacity, perhaps not in London, but in almost every other megacity. People want the future to be elegant and beautiful, but will it be so? I want to compare and contrast the different futures and how we reach those different, and look at how we reach those different scenarios. If we project future trends into the future, what will we see? If we look at the architects to design new futures for us, what might that look like? And if we, if we, if we try and consciously influence the way evolution is taking place in our cities today, what will that look like? 